being a great, I decided that I was going to do this poem and dedicate it to Calvin that you just met, the 89-year-old gentleman who has the building named after him in Phoenix, America. Calvin, when I went there, we went there for a family reunion in um, 2014, and I was able to go to his building, the building that was named after him, and he had a wall full of honors, uh, plaques, and so forth, awards. I asked him how many, he said he didn't know. But you can hear, you heard all of the things and he's gone. So he's got a wall full of plaques. But it was not an easy climb for him to get there. Because you know at the time he came along, we were still faced with a lot of racial barriers, and et cetera. Now his wife that he mentioned that passed away last year was a poet and she had several books. And every family reunion she read poems to us. So I thought this year since she was not here, in her honor and dedicated to him, I would read this poem which um, reminded me of his struggle. The name of the poem is, Will the Real Black American Please Stand? When identified, please stand and remain standing until the roll has been completed. They changed the rules, but you could still play the game. You knew they didn't want you there, but you stayed anyway. They said you couldn't win, but you finished out in front. You sensed there was danger, but you stood to be counted. They said never, and you said now. Barriers were placed, but you learned to jump higher. They thought they had locked you out, but you found the key. The for sale sign was taken down, but you moved in next door. They said, uh-uh, but you said, Hmm. Someone else was given the job, but you found another. They thought you were down, but you stood back up. You were surrounded by hatefulness, but you had God at your side. They said white, but you said try that. Is the real American still standing? If so, let's give him a hand. And that was him that you heard from earlier, 89 going on 90. Yeah. He's still trying to figure out.